Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's a very cloudy, weathery time here in South Florida right now. Uh, we had a couple good nights of decent weather, but the full moon was out. Um, but I want to give you a quick follow up on my observatory and how it's going. Um, I've had this guy up for a little over a month or just about a month at this point where it's been completed and going. As you can see, I have everything put away inside right now. Uh, yes, I do keep a black trash bag over it because it's light, easy to put away, and it protects everything inside there. Um, if weather was to try to get in, we've had some pretty bad rainstorms down here, really heavy wind and heavy, heavy rain, and so far haven't had a single leak through it, and I hope to keep it that way. I still have a couple things to do. I haven't finished the finishing work on it. Like I said, the weather's been pretty bad. Um, and I just haven't had much time to, but I hope this weekend I get to add a couple more pieces and I'll give you an update on what I've done to uh, strengthen the structure a little bit more. Just for hurricane season, um, I haven't had any issues with some crazy gusts of wind, but uh, overall, as you can see, let me turn the camera on to show you. I keep a black trash bag over it, um, just in case any water was to try to creep in, even though I have weather sealant around it uh, from a garage door closer. Uh, I want to make sure that these seals under the privacy roof have held out and no issues have I had. It's sealed from the top side, not from the bottom side. Um, but even through these gaps that I have in here and the crazy windborne rain, I haven't had any issues with water. But again, this trash bag is just a safety precaution for me. It protects my mount. It protects my camera. Um, it also protects my optical tube, obviously, my air unit and uh, keeps every piece of weather away from it just in case any water was to try to get in here. Um, haven't had a single issue. And let me tell you that this is probably the best invest investment I ever did for my telescope. Um, I am able to come out here, slide this roof open, erect the actual optical tube and get this thing to fire up and start shooting within five to six minutes because I have it all set up and I polar aligned it really, really well. Uh, one time I really only do a polar alignment every few sessions and they're very minimal adjustments I have to make. But overall with the markings I have on it, I'm able to get this thing going in about five minutes of shooting time and spend all this time shooting and targeting different objects. Um, like I said, I've just gotten into deep sky object, there's deep space objects, and it is just so nice to go out, shoot, plan the shoot, and uh, fold it right back down at the start position of the telescope. Once I'm done, close the roof, lock it up, and that's pretty much it. So that's a look at that. Inside of here, I have decent space to kind of just stand around and maneuver and adjust whatever I have to and set things up ahead of time, leave things running and cooling down before I come back and start shooting at night. Right now I've taken off the off-axis guider and uh, the filter wheel. I was just shooting a couple images of the sun. Um, I keep a couple markers that I use with a permanent marker that I made on the uh, focusing knobs and stuff and the focusing tube to help me keep the same orientation when I take this off for cleaning maintenance or just because bad weather's coming around. So it's been good. Like I said, I get to move around. I'll show you how tight the squeeze is in here, but overall I get to get through and not have an issue. I didn't find any need to have this gigantic piece of real estate here. Um, if I have to squeeze in through this side, I just kind of squat down, kind of show you what I do here if I have to, which haven't needed to lately, but if I really needed to, I just come on down here and access whatever I need to access from the bottom side ahead of time before I get to shooting. Um, and then when the weather is good, I then go ahead and just slide the roof open. It'll already be turned on. And it has allowed me to really enjoy this hobby to the fullest. Um, it's been such a great experience to just come out here, not have to spend six hours of setup time and also not have to worry about uh, theft spending two hours of dragging it out of my shed and putting it on the tripod, leveling everything and getting everything going. The ASI Air Plus unit has been a game changer for me. I had everything up in here with a laptop and all these cables and 
seven different uh, computer applications or programs I had to use to get the camera rolling, the mount rolling, uh, the cooling system rolling, the f uh, focusing system. Even with Nina, there was just so much I had to do and set up and leave an expensive laptop out here getting weathered uh, and then remote desktoping from my desktop inside that I built for it. Um, so this has just been an experience and I am so happy I was able to do this. And like I said, I still have some finishing work to do as you can see, give you a quick little tour around it. Let me turn the camera on so you can see what I'm looking at. Here she sits, weathered. Like I said, it's been over a month and uh, she's holding up just fine. No issues on her whatsoever. The grass is starting to grow back around it and it has been great. So if you guys wanna take a look at my camera and the stuff I use on there, I'll be more than happy to break that down, take it inside and show you kind of how I set up the whole camera and what my process is. Um, the 071 MC Pro has been awesome, a workhorse for me, and I can't wait to share some more with you guys. But I want to just make a quick little quick video and give you a quick update on how this is looking. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you follow, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be posting more videos up. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them for me, and I'll be more happy to make, either make a video or respond to your comments. Till then.